four undefeated teams in the country. At that time, North Carolina was undefeated, and they seemed to have the best road towards having an undefeated season at the end of the year, because if you lump together their remaining opponents' records, it was only a 500 record. But nonetheless, it was South Carolina coming in with a 4-3 and three mark that put the herd on uh, North Carolina this past weekend. Rick Walensic has a report on that game, a major upset in the southern part of the country last Saturday. Gamecock quarterback Gordon Beckham gave an indication of the kind of day it was going to be, driving his team to a score on its first possession. The 7 to nothing South Carolina lead was the first time all season North Carolina had trailed at home. But the big blow came on the next to the last play of the first quarter, when quarterback Rod Elkins took off around his right end. Elkins was hit hard, and on one play, the Tar Heels had lost the ball and their quarterback for the rest of the game. Beckham again took advantage of a battered Tar Heel secondary, hitting it close enough for Todd Berry to take it in. South Carolina led it 14 to nothing. North Carolina got back in it late in the first half with a 16-play 93-yard drive, capped by Scott Stan Cabbage's 19-yard pass to Larry Griffin. Early in the second half, Beckham, who was 16 of 17 on the day, connects on another long one, this one covering 53 yards. Two plays later, South Carolina leads 21 to 7. With a minute left to play in the third period, Tar Heel punter Jeff Hayes tries to get his team back in it by himself, turning a bad snap into a 70-yard touchdown. It was his second successful fake punt of the day, making him the leading Carolina rusher with 79 yards. But any hopes North Carolina may have had were stifled just two minutes later when Sammy Johnson botched a Gamecock punt. The result was a 33-yard insurance field goal. Stan Cabbage then threw his second interception just three plays later, setting up South Carolina's final score, a five-yard run by Ken Stafford. If you ask me that, I think we're going to be 16 for 16 other than the offensive pass. I don't think anybody in the world would set a school record. But if you're asking me if I think we can throw, yes. What North Carolina did is they played man and gave us a chance to throw some, and we protected Gordon well. You've got to give Beckham and the offensive line the receivers credit. Well, their corners got played tight every once in a while. They come up that man-on-man situation and play tight, and if we can get our, our, our wide receiver outside of him and go, go up the sidelines, we got a 50-50 chance to complete that, and um, we worked on that a lot this week. Obviously, that hard work paid off as the Gamecocks upset the third-ranked Tar Heels 31-13. In Chapel Hill, North Carolina, Rick Willenzek for ESPN.